International Mother Language Day. We are celebrating that. South Azerbaijan, not much uh, to celebrate anyway. Uh, because our language is banned there and mocked. And it's not official. And other languages in so-called uh, fake country of Iran, like uh, such as Arabic and other even dialects of even Persian itself. So that's the reason I'm, I'm going to talk English here for a while. Because I see everybody, uh, we come from multilingual backgrounds. And we are not just Turkish-speaking people, we are Turks. Or we are not Arab speaking, we are Arabs. So, but the Persian racist uh, system in Iran, they like to call us Persian, uh, Turkish speaking or Arab speaking. And even that one has a poisonous sound to it, what they call in, in Persian Turk Saban. They don't want to say Turk because that's a word to be avoided by racists of the uh, Iranian system and their allies in every uh, uh, group and, and even political uh, arena. Today also is Khojali's Khojali Massacre's uh, anniversary day. Uh, in that day, Armenian forces backed by Russians they entered Khojal in 25th, that's today, and 26th of February. They destroyed the, the, the, uh, the whole village. They killed 613 people, 106 of them women, 83 children, 1,275 1, hostages, 150 missing, 487 disabled, injured and disabled, 76 of them children. This tragedy <coughs> is a black mark in Russian and Armenia, and we can say Iranian system on their forehead. It will stay there forever in the history. We will never forget what Armenians, backed by Russians and Iranians, did in Northern Azerbaijan Republic. When there was a new country, new borders, new government, and even there was no uh, real stability there in, in Northern Azerbaijan. Government was just forming. People, they were waking up from 80 years of occupation by Russians, and at this time, they, they, they basically hurled like a barbaric animals to Azerbaijan and occupied the corridor of Shusha and then come to Kalbajar and Aldam and all other cities and massacring people. Doing barbaric things that uh, for us is very strange because as, as, as a nation of Turks and Azerbaijani Turks, we are known for our mercy and even hospitality and kindness facing Armenian barbarism for us was despicable. We could not imagine what could happen to our kids and our elderly. We also remember people who were affected by Armenian genocidal attack to Karabakh and Khojal at this day. For their name, for their soul, I ask you to raise and respect them who died without any guilt. We, they were just living in that city of Pajala. They were not soldiers, they were not fighters. I ask you to raise for their respect and pay them the homage of one minute of silence.
just going to ask my dear friend, um, Azerbaijani Turks special strategic ally, Al Ahwaz's representative, to join me and talk about International Language Day or issues concerning about the nation. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, statement by the Ahwazi Democratic Popular Front on occasion of World Mother Tongue Day. Most mother nations around the world have realized that the value of respect for human dignity and individual liberty in recent decades, and most of them through peaceful and tireless struggle for freedom from oppressions, the freedom from the apartheid, the freedom from brutality of communist regimes, and the freedom from the authoritarian dictators in the universal. And the all nations, regardless of people, race, or beliefs, deserve to elect governments and live in peace and have respect for their human rights. These human values are basic to every civilized society in the 20th century, and the elected governments are only legitimized when they regard these values. Legitimate governments are in power to ultimately protect people, individual and communal liberty. The international support for and global solidarity with the Arab Spring also had shown that the world can no longer afford regimes who commit atrocities against their defenseless people, regardless where they happen. But today, before world's eyes, the pan-Iranist, chauvinistic regime of Iran and the so-called Green Movement still deny the communal rights of ethnic minorities in Iran. The pan-Iranist Persianists who are now leading the movement in Iran or from abroad have always supported the occupation of Waziland. The pan-Iranist, whether in opposition or in the regime, have always supported the previous Iran's government in persecuting the non-Persian ethnic minorities in the current geopolitical map of Iran. While still the Iranian regime continues to commit atrocities <coughs> against its sub-national ethnicities, supporters of the Persianist aid agenda take pride in the Persian domination in Iran. For so many years, the pan-Iranists forming Iran's regime and their pro-Persian supporters abroad take pride in Iran's government agenda of marginalization of ethnic minorities from socio-economic and political life in Iran. This is despite the fact that these minorities from almost 70% of Iran's current population Iran's resources have been used to advantage minority Persian rulers. The persecuted minorities are also deprived from their basic rights, such as their rights to learn their mother tongue in public school. Speaking on behalf of Ahwazi Democratic Popular Front, we, the Ahwazi people, as a national minority, have experienced all kinds of ethnic cleansing and national marginalization policies and practices either by previous or the current regimes in Iran. The pan-Iranists are unaware that Iran's minority will faithfully continue 
to confront their agenda in Iran and abroad and will put an end to the Persianist dominance in Iran. With our faith and solidarity, we are more determined to continue our struggles for our liberty rights in accordance with internationally recognized norms. On this occasion, the Ahwazi Democratic Popular Front, ADLF, would like to congratulate this day to all peaceful people and nations of this world and with the Ahwazis wants to condemn Iran's occupation of our land as a principle denial of our communal rights. We also support the struggle for re uh, realization of all human rights in Iran. Ahwazi Popular Democratic Front, February 25th, 2012. Thank you very much, Brother Abu Sufyan. I am going to ask my friend Ilgar, who told me he's a poet, by the way. He's a poet and artist. So we're going to use a little bit of his artistry and, and artistry of the words. And he said he wrote a, a poem for mother tongue, for mother language. I'm going to ask him to come forward and please. Hi, everybody. Mm, I will speak Turkish because, you know, my mother language is Turkish. I hope. My friends, don't feel bad. Türkçe bir şey dedim. Celercan Ayavuz'da yazdım onu. Yazmamıştım da önceden. Hele Ayavuz'da Celercan bunu yazmışam ana diline göre. Ana dilim benim tehvarlığımdır. Düşmen onu menden almak istiyor. Zirvelerde yer alan öz dilimi benim öz gözümden salmak istiyor. Türk'ün dilin Türk toprağı içinde dayaksız, adamsız kalmak istiyor. Dişim dırnağımla kormalıyam. Dişim dırnağımla kormalıyam. Şerefimi menden salmak istiyor. Daldan atılan deş Daldan atılan daş topuğa değer. İndi fikrinde olmak istiyor. Susuz bir çiçeğe benzeyir dilim. Susuz bir çiçeğe benzeyir dilim. Yetişin tadına solmak istiyor. Urmu gölü kimi susuz üreyim. Gözümün kanıyla dolmak istiyor. Derin bir denizdi sevgili dilim. Könül bu denize dolmak istiyor. Ana dilim yoksa olmasın ilgar. Ruhsuz bu bedenim ölmek istiyor. Sağ olun. Çok şeyler söyledi. Umarım ki çok yakında sizin arzularınızı yerine gelir ve öz şehriniz merende daha sevimli, daha sevindirici şeyler okuyarsınız bize. Sayın Çaryar Bey'den, ki bizim Türkümen başladı, davet edelim ki buyursun gelsin ve öz görüşlerini ana dili Günün günü münasibetine buyursunlar. Şayar Bey, buyurun. Bütün mihmalar hoş geldiler.
Women, burada bir Türkmen Human Rights Türkmen Community bir eksilerde bir suratlarda. Burada biz ne için 21. yıl 21. Fevral veya on sene mesela burada Bangladeş'in independence olmalı, mahkumluk parayla bunlar neden burada değil? Yaptığım yaptığım yaptı mesela e, Güney Azerbaycan insan mı? Merkezi Neme Bey'le mesela suratları koyuptur. Bunlar şimdi Türkçe diysek bir meselede 1948. yılda Mehmet Ali Cinnah Pakistan'ın hem İs, hem West Pakistan'ın ülke indi onun yol başlası ya Doğanları dedi ki ordu dili Pakistan'ın resmi dil olmalı. Elbette ordu dili fakat Pakistan'ın vesindeki yaşayan adamlar onu bilir. İs Bengali millet onu bilmiyor. Onun için burada hareket ortaya geldi ve 1952 yılda Dakka şehrinde, Hazreti Bengali'nin paydaklığında gelip istediler ki ene dil meselesinde görüş etmiştir. Başlayıklara onları Pakistan o zaman ertişi, armiyası, polisi olarak o kaç tiba olayı öldürdü bir nişesi. Bir hareket sebep oldu ki son gelip burada e, Bengladeş azaltlık armiyası Mukti Bihan dönelilsin. Ve bu azaltlık armiya Hindistan devletinin kıymeyi bile bile gelip son 1971. yıldaki uruşta ki Mart başlamıştı Afgan, e, Pakistan devleti özünün koşullarına Bengladeş adamlarına öldürmene ve onları mesela vurmaya gelmiştiler. Onlara karşı çıkmıştılar. Ve 1971. yılının Desamırına bir hareket, bir uruş Bengladeş'in yenmeyi bile mutlardı. Ve Bengladeş para geldi, azaklığa, esirlara geldi. Çünkü için dünyada ene dil günü 21. Fevrali mesela bir yıl mesela onun üçüncü onun anniversarisi ya yıldırdı değil beyler ve kımmatlı safakları var kımmatlı dersler var ee, now I try in English try to explain what breach and what is breach the international they are mother tongue for February 21st to independent of Bangladesh. When in March 21st, 1948, Muhammad Ali Jannah, the Governor General of Pakistan, declared that Urdu will be the only official language for both West and East of Pakistan. People of East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, who spoke Bengali, protested against this. Bengali Language Day Movement commenced February 21st, 1952 by students of Dhaka University to protest linguistic discrimination of West Pakistan, now Pakistan, and to defend the cultural values of Bangladesh as a nation. Pakistan police fired on the students despite of their peaceful meetings. It led to the creation of Bengali Liberation Army, Mukti Bahini, and holistic fight of Bengali nation against West Pakistan. The war broke out on March 26, 1971, as army units declared a directive by West Pakistan launched a military operation in East Pakistan against Bengali civilian, student, intelligent, and armed personnel who were demanding separation of the East from West Pakistan. Bengali nation won the war through the support of Indian government on December 16, 1971 and established an independent state of Bangladesh. Here between us, for example, we have from Turkey, from many countries, our brother countries. They have a 
government. They have escaped. And they are talking there in their mother tongue. They have academia, for example, Turkish academy. Or we have, for example, in Turkmenistan, Turkmen Academy of Science and other and others. But we have, we are, for example, I am from South Turkmenistan. My friends from South Azerbaijan. Our language forbidden for us to talk to them. They forbid to name our children even in our mother tongue. Because of that, Bengali experience, Bengali history of fight, that's our part of our fight toward tomorrow, toward future. That we have to gain our independence, nothing else. In South Turkmenistan, in South Azerbaijan, in Ahmad Arab, and other places, in Iranian so called geography. Thank you. Many South Azerbaijani activists, human rights activists, and defenders of our mother tongue were arrested for just the reason of being Azerbaijani Turk. I have a list of them. In their respect, in the time they are spending in the dungeons of Islamic Republic of Iran, and the torture, and their family missing them, and they don't know what's going to happen to them. In respect of that, I'm going to recite their names. I'm going to listen. Said Muranda, Yunus Tuleimani, Meysam Azadi, Mehdat Karami, Abbas Nazali, Yashar, Jafar Ağa Muhammadi, Aydın Zakiri, Muharram Kirmani, Muharram Kamrani, Saleh Mulla Abbas, Abbasiyah, Muhammad Cerrahi, Nima Puryagu, Sasan Vahibi Vash, Abdullah Sadugin, Hüseyin Sadugi, Ali Pakbaz, İbrahim Rashidi, Afshin Shahbaz, Shahram Radmeh, Mehdi Abbasi, Muhammad Ahadi, Ruzbeh Saadati, Ali Pakbaz, Yunus Zareyun, Tabi Salahçur, Riza Abri, Said Naimi, Said Muganlı, <coughs> Muhammad Rashidi, Hamid Abdi, Riza Gambari, Hasan Demirci, İbrahim Rashidi, Savalan, Asker Ağayi, Ekber Muhaciri, Muhammed Riza Bakhşi, Khaja, Rahim Ali Rizai, Şahram Dadaşi, Mesut Bayrami, Emir Babayi, Veli Bayraktar, Yusuf Salahşur, Naim Ahmet Xiyavi, Hüseyin Rovnagi Maliki, Haniye Farshi Şoturban, Tagi Salahşur, Mehdi Nuri, Az Azizi Purvali, Hasan Erd, Musa Barzan Khalifoğlu, Vahid Şeyh Beyli, Mahmut Far Farzali, Mustafa Avazpur, Mürteza Avazpur, Mehdi Hamidi, İsmail Barzgeri, Resul Heydari, Cavat Zad, Zad Khama, Ferdin Nobakh, Aydın Zakiri, İlgar Muazzin Zade, İbrahim Etazade, Cafer Ağa Muhammedi, Mansur Seyfi, Hasan Erkin, Mehdat Kerem'i, Mehdi Heyhan'i, Güntay, Ramin Cebrailli Yaşar ve Behram Şeyhi. Bunlar bizim bildiklerimizdir. Ve bilmediğimiz, tanımadığımız, kıyabandan uğurlananlar var. 
Onların adlarını da bilmiyoruz. Bunların anaları, bacıları, aileleri bunları gözlerken bunlar işkence altında, köte altında, tähkir altında yaşayırlar. Ona göre biz bunların ehtiramına bunların adını çağırırız. umudumuz budur ki insan hakları uğruna azaltlık uğruna Güney Azerbaycan'da insan kerametiyle, milli kerametiyle yaşamak isteme uğruna herkes ki tutulur öz azaltlığına bırakılsın işgalçı ordu Azerbaycan'ı terk edersin ona göre Güney Azerbaycan İstiklal Partisi her zaman Herkes ki istiklal düşüncesinden yanadır. Herkes ki İran işgalından kurtulmak istiyor, onun yanında veya o grubun yanında. Ona göre biz danışanda bizim arkamızda Güney sözüyle başlanır. Güney sözünün tilismi çok adamı çok yeri görür. Bizim düşüncemiz, bizim doktrinimizin göstergesidir bu. Bizim danıştığımız yerlerin arkasında İran sözü yoktur. Bizim Azerbaycan İran Azerbaycanı değil. Bizim Azerbaycan biz İran varlığını resmiyette tanımıyoruz. Ona göre bizim danıştığımız yerlerde Güney Azerbaycan var. Güney Azerbaycan kelimesinin şerefinin altında danışırız. Ve İran Azerbaycanı diye bir şey tanımıyoruz. Nece ki hiç zaman biz 80 il Şuravi Azerbaycan'ı tanımadık kardeşler. Bunu bilin. Hiç zaman tanımadık biz. Ve bu hiç zaman bizim solcu veya salçı veya değişik düşünceler bağlı olmamızdan asılı olmadı. Çünkü düşünce başkadır, bir milleti idare eleme sistemi başkadır ama işgal başkadır. Ruslar Sovyet zamanı Azerbaycan'ı resmen işgal etmişler. Azerbaycan'ın neftini dünya neft kıymetinin yüzde beşini beşi kıymetine alırdılar. Azerbaycan milletini yok etmeye belbe alamışlar. Böyle bir vaziyette biz nece Azerbaycan'ı, Şurevi Azerbaycan'ı tanıyoruz? Çünkü Azerbaycan'a yiye lazım değil. Azerbaycan'a sahip lazım değil. Biz sahip mentalitesiyle bakmıyoruz dünyaya. Güney Azerbaycan İstiklal Partisi ve Güney Azerbaycan İnsan Hakları Merkezi böyle bir düşüncededir. Hiç Güney Azerbaycan milletine ve öbürü milletlere de, milletlere de hatta Fars milletine de sahip, sahip aramır. Yiye aramır. Ona göre biz özümüzü her zaman Güney Azerbaycan adının altında tanıttırdık ve danışırdık. Ve çok sıkı o kelimenin üzerine. O kelimenin tilismi İran devini yıkacağını düşünürüz. Çok teşekkür. Sağ olun. The remembrance of Kocalin tragedy. And I had to, you know, keep myself from crying. And I did not have a chance to thank you one by one for attending this meeting. So from my heart, and in behalf of myself, and in behalf of South Azerbaijani Independence Party, I thank every one of you for attending. I thank you very much. And I know everybody has things to do, but your thing was this one to do. And I thank you. And, uh, Lots of applause and a good feeling from my heart and from the Independent Party to you. In this segment, we're going to ask Gözde from the U.S., who is from Turkey, to recite us a poem. Please go ahead. Um, Yurta su, cihanda su, Türk esirler kabul etmeyen bir millettir. Geldikleri gibi giderler. Hayata en hakiki muş, il, ilim, ilimdir fendir. Beni görmek demek, yüzümü görmek değildir. Benim düşüncelerimi anlıyorsanız ve his, hissediyorsanız bu yeterlidir. Bir Türk dünyaya bedeldir. Millete efendilik yoktur, hizmet etme vardır. Bu millete hizmet eden onun efendisi olur. İyi biliniz ki Türkiye Cumhuriyeti şey, şeyhler 
dervişler, mülitler, memlek, memleketi olmaz. Hangi istiklal, istiklal vardır ya ki? Yabancıların nasihatleri, yabancıların planlarıyla yükseltilsin. Ve e, çok sağ olun ki o büyük bozgurdun, o büyük insanı Mustafa Kemal Atatürk'ün adını getirdiniz buraya, burada ve onun o güzel altından değerli sözlerine söyledim. Çok sağ olun. Ben kardeşim İsmail Bey'i çağırıyorum buraya ki, e, buyurun, please. خیلی خوشحالم که امروز به این مناسبت بزرگ در خدمت شما هستم و ثانیان خیلی عوض میخوام که بازبان فارسی صحبت میکنم این از اونجایی که نتونستیم این زبان لعنتی را از خودمون خلاص کنیم یا ما از خلاص کنیم خیلی متاسفیم این روز بزرگ یه چیزایی تو ذهنم مونده از زمان جوانی که کلاس چهارم درس میخوندم نمیخوام این فاجعه که این حکام ظالم بر علیه قومیت ها یا کشورهای اشغال شده از طرف ایران بذار من یه نمونه کوشیکی واسطون تعریف کنم که به بنده وارد شد ما تو ما اشایل هستیم جاهای دور از شهر تقریبا سی کیلومتر از شهر دور بودیم یادم میاد آمدن یک مدرسه گلی و سمون سخت در اونجا گفتن مدرسه براتون درست کرد ما فامیلامون، پدرامون، مدرامون تو اون زمان خیلی خوشحال بودن که دولت آمده مدرسه و سمدون گذاشته من مردم نمیدونن هدف اون دولت چه بود چی میخواستن از این مدرسه میخوان آیا واقعا ما رو با فرهنگ کنن با سواد کنن یا مسئله پشت این مدرسه هست آیا دقت کنید مسئله چیه ما اون زمان میتونم بگم که یک درصد فاسی هم بلد نبودم یک درصد ما عشایر و عرب و کلن جد در جد, جد اونجا ساکن بودیم اون وطن بودیم اومد اون مدرسه را ساختن و یک دوتا آموزگار هم آورد معلم خب شروع کردن درس دادن بچه های شیش ساله و هفت ساله و نه ساله و تا اونجایی که بچه ها میتونستن برن مدرسه می بردن به زبان فارسی یاد می دارن یکی از کسایی که محترز بودن خدا بیا مرزم ما دوتونه یکی از فامیل همون بس میاسیم گفت که من بچه هم هم تازه عربی بلد نیست چطور اون زبان دومه رو یاد میگیم چجوریه چیزایی که تا حالا یادش دادیم همه شون عربی هم رو یاد گیست چطور تو مدرسه این زبان دیگه رو یاد بگیم بله ما باز هم فامیل همون خوشحال بودن که نوشتن رو یاد بگیریم به حصول دیشه ولی مصیبت رو اینجا است که تا کلاس چارون هم تموم نشده رو مدرسه رو خراب کرده معلوم ها دیگه نمیان چرا اگر از من میپرسید این مدرسه برای تنها روستای ما نیست برای حدودن سی سد و شست روستا همچی مدرسه سفتن تا کلاس سوم و چارون فقط و فقط برای خراب کردن زبان مادر واجه های فارسی به شکل عربی توی کتاب هایی که ما میخوندیم تو کلاس اول دو و سوم چارم میخوندیم واجه های فاسی به حروف عربی که خودشون دارنشون گذاشتنش که ما فقط زبان عربی اصیلمون مثلا به جای اینکه اسم عربی بذاریم اسم فاسی بذاریم به جای اینکه چیزی آب بگیم آب میگیم به عربی میگیم مای میگیم آب نصف حرف از این جاید بگیم نصف حرف از عربی یاد داشته باشیم زبان عربی من خراب بشه این گناه تا حالا هر وقت من عربی با کسایی دیگه صحبت میکنم کلمات فاسی که توی عربی هست جلو میاد و خدا اندی خدا شرمنده میشه میگم من متعیم من عربم 
ولی وقتی کلمات فارسی تو زبانم هست این از زمان شیخای از زمان 9 سالگی و 6 سالگی و سالگی تو ذهن ما کاشتن این دولت به این دولت های گذشته و فعلی که توی در چرچوب ایران اسمش گذشتن دیگه الان ما مبتلای این اسمم هستیم دیگه اینا قیل از توسه تلوی در تمام نواهش حالا این صحبت ها فکر کنم آقایون میگن حالا این جاش نیست ولی خب من دلم پوله چو صحبت کنم در این مناسبه اینا قیل از توسه تلوی قیل از کشور گشایی دیگر هم هیچ منظور قصد دیگر داشت از اسلام که میگن کو اسلامی که دارن کوش معذرت میخوام محرمات شرع اسلام حلال کردن داخل داخل خود خونه های دین شد داخل امام رضا و امام نمیدارم که محرمات اسلام چیزایی که واقعا اسلام هستون چی بگم اصلا نمیشه اسمشون اول محرمات اونا حلال کرد به اسم اسلام آدم ادام بکنن ولی آمدن هی به اسم اسلام کشور گشایی خوشایی کنن و مهمترین چیزی که بهش اصرار دارن از بین بردن زبان مدری زبان مدری که دنیا داره مبارزه میکنه به خاطر این زبان حفظ بشه اونو دارن از بین بردن هی یا با استفاسی بکنید یا دیگه حق نه در یه چیچ کتاب بکنید من امروز را به همه دوستان تبریک میگم انشاءالله خدا را دعا میکنم که روزی ما در شهرهای شهرهای خودمون مستقل و آزاده برگردیم به زبان خودمون صورت Here, even they put here in, in a slogan here that you see we put here 
in, in South Azerbaijan, they come out, they say, my Turkish language in my school. So it says, Türk dilinde medresa. They are ashamed of saying that, my friends. Anytime you see, they say, öz dilinde medresa in their own language. So they are avoiding to say the word Turkish. Tur the word Turkish is a taboo. If there was no Mustafa Kemal, everybody would say, you know, thank God we are all good Muslims. But it was Mustafa Kemal and the, the movement of the Ittihad Terakki that brought all this Turkishness to the world. And the new wave of the, the, con the consciousness about Turkishness. So if there was no Mustafa Kemal, these people would be more prevalent to us. That they avoid the word Turkish. Everywhere you will see they will write Özdil in the Madrasa. That does not mean it's a bad word. But with the good word, they are trying to avoid the word Turkish. And that's very, very ugly and disgusting. The language has a name, and the name is Turkish. And the name is South Azerbaijani Turkish. So put that aside. Everybody can see signatures, signatories of that document. And that's from their own site. Talks about their beloved country, Iran, should be respecting other languages other than Parsi. We think the, the basic thing about human rights is the right to speak your own language, in your own home, taught by your father, by your mother, in your own streets, in the workplace, in the official places, in the army, in every aspect of your life. This is a basic uh, right. People who grow up in this right and having this, even they don't know it's a right because they just grow up in it. A person who grew up in Germany and speaks German and just grows up, he never or she never even feels that this is a right or it's a privilege. Nobody knows because they just grow up and so natural for them. But in the occupied country of South Azerbaijan, we feel it every day. Every child who goes to school, they feel that this is not Sioux anymore. This is water. Uh, this is uh, Al. And actually, if you speak a different dialect of uh, Persian, you will be mocked. So every day we feel this, even though it's the basic, basic human right issue. It's not even disputable. Uh, everyone just Geographically, they develop nations that they talk their own language. What's the, uh, the, the dominant culture and dominant people, they come and dominate the other people and they press their language, their culture upon others. That's what's happening in South Azerbaijan. Anybody who goes against this in South Azerbaijan, just they talk about their rights. They, are, they, they have been accused of being separatist, and so the word separatist, Tazia Talab, in Iran, uh, is like a, is a taboo. It's like a very bad word, it's like a swear word. So, but actually, they want just their right, a simple right. It's a simple right of living, simple right of uh, food and work, and simple right of speaking their own language. So, when you, you talk about this, when you oppose this, this norm, you will be accused of selling out your country, uh, Iran, and accused of basically being uh, elements of uh, Turkey, or Azerbaijan, or Israel, or US, or any other uh, you know, uh, accusation that they can attach to you. In the last uh, 80 years and more than that, in the Shah's time, in the Pahlavi's time, and now the Islamic fascist time, it's the same. The situation did not change, but actually got worsened. Uh, right now, at, at this moment in the history, the, the thought and, and, and the, the doctrine of Azerbaijan, politically and idealistically, is standing in front of doctrine of Iran. So it's like a Azerbaijan and Iran. It's a two different phenomena. It's not like Azerbaijan is part of Iran. It's not like a uh, it's all Iranians and it's all we are same people and we are just nice, we're going to live together. No, the whole idea of Azerbaijan is standing against the idea of Iran. They want to Iranize everybody, Persianize everyone, and we just want to get out. That is why these two ideas are facing each other 
and someday the conflict is going to happen. Of course, the conflict is already started by their occupation of South Azerbaijan. And we are only defenders of our own land. The Iranian side's struggle is to keep South Azerbaijan under their dominance, to call it Iran as long as they can. Our struggle is to basically draw our historical land, draw our historical uh, boundaries, and say, this is South Azerbaijan, and Iranian army and Iranian occupation forces should get out of Azerbaijan and leave us alone. So we will decide what language, what dialect we're going to talk. We will decide what kind of governance we're going to have. So that's the meaning of independence. That's what Mustafa Kemal said. The most important thing in his, his, in his ideology is independence and freedom, those two. And freedom cannot come, my, my brothers and my sisters, without independence. You cannot have freedom, even personal freedom, in the streets if your country is occupied. The first thing is independence and then freedom. We have uh, instances in countries that they have freedom, uh, they, they have uh, independence, but the f still freedom is not there. I'm not going to bring the names of the countries. They're independent, but freedom is not much there. So freedom is second. The first is independence. If you are not independent, if you don't rule yourself, if you, you are not yourself, then freedom will come later. But if you, are, uh, if you don't own yourself, if you are not of yourself, you have your own country, then even if you, if you are free in your country, in the country of occupation, it has no meaning, basically. The Persian dominant language and culture in Iran created a, a, a feeling that if you don't know Persian, you are illiterate. It's about. So if you can speak Persian very well, if, you, if you're educated, it means you know Persian. If you don't know Persian, if you cannot speak Persian very well, if you cannot do your things in Persian, it means you're illiterate. So they brought and they made illiteracy, uh, my, my friend was uh, even uh, alluding to that idea, illiteracy uh, equals uh, not knowing Persian. But actually it, it was not like this. People, people, they knew other languages. People, they, they might be educated in their own language and be literate on that. So, uh, but Iranian dominant culture brought uh, this idea among our families that if you don't know Persian, you are illiterate. So you have to be pushed down and known as Bisawa. This is another cultural pressure and humiliation that Azerbaijanis, especially people who could not attend the school, uh, suffered in the last 80 years. What we suggest as, uh, as South Azerbaijani independence parties ideology, we suggest that the first thing, every, uh, the, the first thing uh, to, uh, in a struggle for mother tongue starts from home, with the mothers. The mothers should not think that the, if child doesn't know Persian, he is illiterate. Mothers, that's their responsibility to teach their language, not just teach, just talk their language to their child. Don't worry about if they don't know Persian, what's going to happen. Starts from the mothers. And if you don't teach your own language to your own child, you are betraying your child. You are done. You are finished. In second, third generation, you are done. You are finished. Either it's Turkish or Arabic or Baluchi or Kurdish or any language. Doesn't matter. The first responsibility lies on mothers. You are ought to speak your own language in your own home. That's the first thing. Number two. We have to kind of start avoiding going Persian schools. What we suggested years ago, that in the first day of school, we don't attend. We ban, we boycott first day of school. It worked. An Iranian regime played another game, said, OK, first day of school is uh, uh, some ceremony somewhere. So the second day of school. So we are still suggesting first day, first week of, of school not to send your children to school in opposition of uh, the, the foreign language of Persian being taught to our children, destroying our culture and language. Language is the 
is the container of the whole culture. Your whole culture, your whole consciousness in your culture, and your whole Turkishness is in the language. There is nothing other than language. You have nothing other than language. If the language is taken from you, you cannot even express yourself. In a different language, you have to think about different language, and you have to use different languages, culture even, to speak that. You, uh, thought process in my mind. I cannot think different language and talk English. So language is the uh, most important thing in, in one's culture. And when they take uh, the language from you, when they destroy your language, or, or they basically pollute it, what my friend was even mentioning, pollution of, of, of uh, the other language. And that's what the, the Persians try to do. If you want about the pollution, if you want to just, uh, when you have a time in your internet open, uh, the, the Tabriz radio that's under occupation by, by Iran. And listen to Tabriz radio uh, speaking Turkish and see what kind of Turkish is that. There's no Turkish there. Ninety percent is Persian and Persian grammar and vocabulary. This is the situation of pollution of language. And that's what Persians, they are trying to do. So after they pollute your language, the dominant culture, the dominant language. Then they tell you, you see, you cannot even speak with the North Azerbaijanis. You see, you cannot even understand the Turkish uh, the people from Turkey. You are completely different. You are Iranian. And you are, uh, you are Turkicized by force. You are not Turkish. You see, you cannot even understand each other. So after 80 years of pollution and destruction of the language, now you have to compare. You cannot. So this is another operation happening from uh, Iranian system. The Iranian racist system to us. So in 80 years, they are destroying our language with TV, with the soldiers sent to, to the villages, to, to our cities, Sepah Danesh, or, or all other things, to Persianize us. And then after 80 years, when we cannot speak Turkish, when we cannot use good grammar in Turkish, good vocabulary in Turkish, now they come to compare. You see, you cannot uh, speak very well and understand and comprehend very well with North Azerbaijanis or with the people in Turkey. So that is another form of oppression in, in Azerbaijan. The, you, the word Iran is completely a made up word to hold a countries that other half of them, they're outside of Iran. Let's say Turkmenistan, other half is also. Let's say Azerbaijan is other half is there. Let's say uh, Tur uh, Kurdish people, the other half is outside. Baluch people is same thing, and uh, and Arabs are same thing. So uh, the the uh, the system, the system of uh, the governance, who's separating people from each other, are Iranian government. So. You have to always think when they say Tadziyat to you, for example, we want to separate Azerbaijan from Iran. There is no separation of Azerbaijan from Iran. The unification of Azerbaijan.